back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Hello everyone and welcome back to another motivational video of building a lifestyle in Ghana. If it is your first time here on the channel, my name is Gigo and I make YouTube videos especially to motivate the young ones out there to come back home to develop the country and also create an environment in which they are used to in the West. And if this is something you are interested in, then kindly please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, join me with your suggestions and your comments and let's do this and to my subscribers i would like to say a big thank you for staying with me till this far i still don't have a complete building but you guys are still here i believe my first 2k subscribers have seen this project before which is also for a subscriber we have an update on the progress after this concrete casting and the cost breakdown of the basement and the ground floor and the first floor which is on the concrete casting so make sure you stay to the end of this video. I would also like to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to the owner of this project for allowing me to show his lifestyle building project to motivate my viewers. Building a lifestyle to me feels like building a place where you can work, a place where you can live, a place where when anytime you are there, you feel like you are in a five-star hotel, you feel like you are in on holiday, and you have the vacation vibe. A multi-purpose house is what I call a lifestyle. So after the concrete casting, the block works began and this is how far we've laid the blocks to. To the lentil level, this is how far the Lord has brought us. So this is the cause breakdown of the concrete casting of the basement, the ground floor, and the first floor. Ah, Yaro. Yaro, when you are Shiro. And that video, so we'll first video now. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Welcome back to Pram Pram once again. This is my uh, Pram Pram project, my personal project. Whilst others are done with their block laying, we are still here trying to finish up the block lane for my pram pram project so this is how far the guys are going we ordered for the second round of thousand blocks We're making the total of two thousand blocks on site so yeah the first thousand blocks got us to the windows level which you see now which is like four high so that means the next thousand blocks is going to go another four high which is going to be eight high but uh, most uh, most spaces are open because of big windows and uh, and doors and stuff so i think i believe we'll go maybe 11 high that is the plan and i am using hollow blocks at this stage and uh, one hollow block costs six ghana cds so you can do your math times a thousand and uh, yeah, a bag of cement uh, costs uh, 62 Ghana CDs depending on which type you are buying. And to lay about a thousand blocks, you need about uh, 20 bags of cement just to be on a safer side because uh, I think it's between 18 to 20 bags will complete a thousand blocks. So uh, that is it. 
and also the mixture of the mortar is four row barrels to two bags of cement so that will give you the mixture of the mortar for the block line. sorry for the wind interference you know the direction of the wind comes straight into the house this is how uh, i designed the place because and also that's the reason why you're supposed to check your environment before you do your drawing it's very important to know where to position the windows and your doors and stuff but hey let's uh, do a little bit calculation on uh, how much it costs in total to lay 2000 blocks so uh, if uh, a block costs six ghana cities times thousand is uh, six thousand and then uh, which goes with uh, 20 bags of cement and a bag of cement costs 62 ghana cities at this time so uh, making a total of 1240 Ghana cities so in total of laying a thousand block will cost you 7240 Ghana cities excluding the water because I have water on site and also the labor work so this is only the block and the cement which costs uh, 7240 Ghana cities so if you multiply it times 2 which is 2000 blocks you have a total of uh, 14,000 Ghana cities, 480. So that is it, 14,480. In dollars, it's going to be 1,813 dollars. So that is it, that is the total cost to lay the blocks, 2,000 blocks, excluding water and labor work because every artisan charges different actually my team don't really charge that much because so far the people i have recommended my team to has never complained of their charges never never so uh, yeah that is it for now and uh, one thing i also noticed that a lot of people get scared of the word contractor because anytime someone gets in touch with me who wants to use my steel bender my carpenter or some of the masons and I give the number of the contractor to the person that people get scared. Please don't get scared. I, I normally do that because the contractor controls those people. You know, the contractor knows the calculation and the, the quantification and the amount of things needed for the job. So I don't want to give individuals number to you so that maybe if one of them messes up, it goes against the contractor. It goes against the channel. It goes against my goals and my dreams so that's why I always give the contractor's number out so that he controls what they are doing he, he knows much more about quantification and uh, you know and quality work so if I give the contractor's number to you he will give you their number and he also try to know what they are doing you understand so please don't get scared of the word contractor he's so nice guy he's really nice guy he's funny as well so just if you get in touch with me and i give the number to you just contact him and, and back to the laying of the blocks i forgot to mention that just laying the blocks is not uh, the completion of the wall we still have to put columns or pillars as some people will say so we have to buy iron rods which uh, i'm hoping and uh, wish that we don't buy more than one ton building in ghana can be very expensive but it's not that difficult if you have the right team you know and you have the right people to monitor your project and uh, to work on your project because the last time i was just doing a rough calculation on how much i have spent on this project so far and you know from the foundation so the lentil level cost me around $14,000, roughly $14,000, including the workmanship, uh, sorry, in including the permit, you know, and everything. And uh, the decking, I, I think the decking is roughly $8,000 for the decking only. So in total, it's like $22,000, you know. So let's take it that I am building to you know to where i am now and the second floor doesn't exist like the second floor is is the how do you call it is the rooftop you know 
it, it just costs you $22,000 to have a project like this, which is like four bedroom down, downstairs, you know, but excluding the price of, of the land, you know, depending on where you want to buy your land, if you add that price to it, you know, plus 22000 you have uncompleted building though. You need, you still need to go for the plastering, the electricals, the interior design and all of that. But like the whole structure with that plastering, it's like 22,000, you know. So don't give up, you know. Don't, uh, it's, it's, it's expensive. I would say it's, it's expensive. But if you start saving, if you, if you, you know, if you, go for like a five year plan or seven years plan or 10 years plan to save money to build you don't have to save the money and wait after 10 years no maybe save a year then start because the prices of material keeps shooting high so you don't have to wait i i think it has cost me twenty two thousand now but if i should start this project this year it will even cost me more i started this project in a 2021 you know and we are still going you know so i will let you guys know after i have done this floor which is like the second floor the total cost which we all know how much it has cost me now to for the block work you know which is 1813 now so with the iron rolls and the pillar and everything yeah I think rough, roughly thirty thousand, forty thousand. I will have the whole structure, and it's a total of uh, six bedrooms, with a uh, two kitchen, two living room. You know, so let's not give up. Let's save money. Like if you sit down and you think like how much you spend on things that you really don't need in a whole year. And you check that amount of money you spend you can use it to start something you know and this is your project and eh? you make the decisions that is one good thing about building you make the decisions when you are ready you are ready if you're not ready you pause the project and you come back when you are ready so it is not by force that you have to go fast or go slow or no no you just have to communicate with the team and let them know that hey you want to work from this stage to that stage is this is is it safe for the environment is it safe for the climate if they say yes yeah then you go if it is not then you go to a level where you can leave it for two or three years without any damage from the climate or from the environment so yeah you know i always say building in stages is the best way and that is how i started and that's how i'm still going i always build in stages i get the full estimate the full estimate for a whole like a, a whole thing and then i just take my time and i save the money and when i'm ready i call the guys i give the money to them and then we, we go you know so let's get motivated and uh, let's start doing something small small you also get there talking about small small you know you also don't have to build five six four bedroom house three bedroom house no it's not really necessary if you are not living in a country and you want just a place you know for your holidays and maybe when you are old and you're on pension you want to come back you only need a two bedroom house you know just one room for yourself one for family or for friends anytime you're in the country who visit you know just a half plot is enough a half plot is enough just build one story two stories you know just make it simple but just try to put a lifestyle in it build a house that anytime you are in you will enjoy the house not just a place to put your head or sleep you know just build something that you will cherish it and when you are no more your kids you know will also love it build something that will live for a long time you know because one thing i also notice here in the west is that i talk to a lot of people 
older older people i mean and they are like they go through a whole lot to build house for their family their kids in ghana or africa and when they grow old and their kids also get to the age where they can do their own thing they don't live in the house they also want to build their own thing why because the house they build it's it's no it's a it's like an old kind of house you know they don't really want to live in that style that's why you know we should just try as much as possible to build something really modern you know just put a little bit money in it let's use some space you know let's give some space out for things you know to entertain ourselves so that when you grow and your kids are at the age where they also think of moving back they are not going to feel like ah, this house looks old this house you know looks not modern at my age so that is why let's go a step ahead you know in the future let's build something for the future so that our kids don't go through what we are going through now you know also going to buy land and also trying to build their own house just because they don't like your style but if you are able to come up with a nice style maybe after 20 years that style still stands out and they can move in easily you know and then maybe their children will also try to move a step so that is the whole thing of like building a lifestyle in Ghana hey but this is what I think I hope it makes a little bit of sense to someone if uh, you have your suggestions or comments you can comment down below thanks for staying with me till this far I really do appreciate your time you spend on the channel we are still on work we are still going and I will see you in the next episode and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel like it do we but if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my bed think you're something out of my nightmares standing right there but if I lay down Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free you